Have you ever wondered who first provided rules for calculations involving zero? Meet Brahmagupta, an Indian mathematician and astronomer born in 598. Born in Pilamala, a city in the Harsha Empire, Brahmagupta's early life was humble. His family belonged to the Vaisya caste, typically composed of farmers and merchants. However, his life took a turn when he moved to Ujjain, a city that at the time was the epicenter of Hindu mathematics and astronomy. This was no ordinary city, it boasted the finest observatory in all of India and housed the works of many great scientists who preceded him, including those from Alexandria like Heron, Ptolemy and Diophantus, along with his compatriot predecessor, Aryabhata. In Ujjain, Brahmagupta had the opportunity to live, study and teach, immersing himself in a world filled with numbers, stars and equations. It was here, surrounded by the wisdom of the ages, that Brahmagupta's journey into the world of mathematics and astronomy truly began. Brahmagupta's style was as unique as his mathematical prowess. His writing style was influenced by the poetic trend of his times. In an era when number crunching was the norm, Brahmagupta chose to dance to a different beat. He, like many Hindu scientists of his time, penned his texts as poetic verses. This wasn't a mere whim or fancy, it was a deliberate choice to infuse the cold logic of mathematics with the warmth and beauty of poetry. And in doing so, he created a unique blend of science and art that was as enjoyable as it was enlightening. His mathematical problems were not just academic exercises, they were intricate puzzles designed to captivate the mind and stir the imagination. They were not meant to be solved in a hurry, but rather to be savoured like a fine wine or a good book. Each problem was a journey into the unknown, a voyage of discovery that promised to reveal new insights and perspectives. But Brahmagupta didn't stop there. He believed that the true measure of a scholar was not just in solving problems, but in creating them. He held that a wise person could invent a thousand problems or solve those presented by others. And in doing so, he or she could eclipse their brilliance, much like the sun outshines the other stars in the sky. This belief was not just a philosophical stance, it was a challenge, a call to arms for all scholars to push their boundaries and stretch their minds. It was a testament to Brahmagupta's deep faith in the human potential for creativity and innovation. So in Brahmagupta's world, mathematics wasn't just a subject, it was a playground. It was a place where the mind could roam free, where logic could dance with poetry, and where problems were not obstacles, but stepping stones to greater understanding. Brahmagupta's unique style made his works not just academic texts, but also pieces of art. Brahmagupta's life in Ujjain was highly productive, resulting in four significant texts on mathematics and astronomy. These texts include the Brahmasfuta Siddhanta, Kadamikela, Durkayaminada, and Kandakadyaka. Each of these works carries a unique essence of Brahmagupta's mathematical prowess and astronomical curiosity. Let's begin with the Brahmasfuta Siddhanta, Brahmagupta's masterpiece. This work, written in Sanskrit and composed of 1,008 verses in Aryamita, spans across 24 chapters. It encompasses a wide range of topics, including astronomy, arithmetic, and geometry. Additionally, it explores Kutaka, or what we now refer to as algebra. The Brahmasfuta Siddhanta delves into the movements of planets, planetary conjunctions, and problems concerning space, time, and distance related to celestial bodies. Next, we have the Kadamakila, another one of Brahmagupta's notable contributions. Although less detailed about its contents, it is known to be a mathematical treatise underlining Brahmagupta's versatile abilities in the field. The third work, Durkia Minada, though not as extensively discussed in historical records, is yet another testament to Brahmagupta's mathematical and astronomical acumen. Last but not least, the Kandakadyaka is a work that further highlights Brahmagupta's keen interest in astronomy. This text presents a detailed study of the lunar and solar eclipses, planetary motions and more. Each of these works is unique, yet they all reflect Brahmagupta's insatiable curiosity and deep understanding of the mathematical and astronomical world. These texts were not just products of a brilliant mind, but they were also an embodiment of Brahmagupta's dedication to his craft. Despite the lack of detailed records on how he arrived at his results, the precision and accuracy of his work suggest a methodical and meticulous approach. 
Brahmagupta's body of work is a testament to his unparalleled genius. His curiosity, dedication and precision continue to inspire mathematicians and astronomers alike. Even today, these works establish Brahmagupta's reputation as a mathematical and astronomical genius. Among all his works, Brahmagupta's masterpiece is the Brahmasfuta Siddhanta. This monumental text, written in Sanskrit, is composed of 1,008 verses woven together in the melodious Arya meter. These verses are neatly divided into 24 chapters, each one a testament to Brahmagupta's profound understanding of the universe and the mathematical principles that govern it. Brahma's Futasiddhanta, believed to have been completed in the year 628, is more than just a mathematical treatise. It is a window into the mind of a genius, a comprehensive exploration of the cosmos through the lens of mathematics. This masterpiece covers a wide range of topics from the motions of celestial bodies to the complexities of arithmetic and geometry. Brahmagupta delves into the movements of the planets, analyzing their paths and the celestial dance they perform in the vast expanse of the universe. He explores planetary conjunctions, those rare moments when planets align in a breathtaking display of cosmic harmony. He tackles problems of space, time and distance, applying his mathematical prowess to the mysteries of the celestial realm. In addition to astronomy, Brahma's Futa Siddhanta also delves into the world of arithmetic, showcasing Brahmagupta's deep understanding of numerical operations. He presents complex calculations and equations, proving his mastery over the abstract world of numbers. Geometry, too, finds a home within the pages of Brahma's Futa Siddhanta. Brahmagupta's life was a journey of discovery, innovation and contribution to the world of mathematics and astronomy. His work not only shaped the course of these disciplines in his time, but also continues to influence generations of scholars and enthusiasts. While Brahmagupta's contributions are manifold and significant, a few stand out for their revolutionary impact. First and foremost, he was the pioneer who provided rules for calculations involving zero. This might seem simple to us today, but back then it was a groundbreaking concept that transformed the realm of mathematics. Brahmagupta's understanding and application of zero in arithmetic opened up new possibilities and laid the groundwork for future advancements in the field. Brahmagupta's genius also shines through in his corrections to Aryabhata's formulas. He meticulously studied the works of his predecessors, not just to learn from them, but also to refine their theories and calculations. His corrections to Aryabhata's formulas for calculating the areas and volumes of pyramids and cones showcased his critical thinking skills and his unyielding pursuit of mathematical precision. Beyond his direct contributions, Brahmagupta's influence on subsequent generations of mathematicians and astronomers is immeasurable. His texts, written in the form of elliptic verse in Sanskrit, served as valuable resources for learning and exploration. They were not just mathematical treatises, but also works of art that engaged the mind and sparked curiosity. His style of presenting mathematical problems as puzzles was not only entertaining, but also a clever pedagogical strategy that promoted active learning and problem-solving skills. Brahmagupta's legacy extends beyond the Indian subcontinent. His work was translated into Arabic and played a significant role in the development of Islamic mathematics. His rules for arithmetic, especially those involving zero and negative numbers, were incorporated into the mathematical framework used across the world. It's fascinating to think that when we perform basic arithmetic today, we're using principles that were established by Brahmagupta over a millennium ago. Brahmagupta's contributions to astronomy are equally impressive. As the head of the Astronomical Observatory in Ujjain, he conducted extensive research on the movements of planets and celestial bodies. His work helped to enhance our understanding of the universe and paved the way for future breakthroughs in the field. In conclusion, Brahmagupta was not just a mathematician or an astronomer. He was a visionary who dared to venture beyond the known boundaries of knowledge. His intellectual curiosity, analytical prowess and creative problem-solving abilities have left an indelible mark on the world of mathematics and astronomy. Brahmagupta's legacy is imprinted in every zero we write and in every glance we cast at the stars. He was truly a gem in the circle of mathematicians.